Oh, uh, I give the floor to the next speaker, uh, Mr. Pierpaolo Di Bitonto. He is a computer scientist. He has a PhD in, uh, in uh, computer science. He's, uh, he works, uh, I think he's a founder of Grifo. I don't know if in Italian Grifo is, means the same than in Portuguese because uh, Grifo is uh, a hawk, a bird of prey. Uh, in Portuguese, at least, I don't know if in Italian is the same. Yes. And uh, so this uh, this um, is a small uh, is a multimedia and innovative and small and medium enterprise that develop digital solutions uh, for educational purpose. But last time is uh, develop also uh, games and uh, other materials. So please, Mr. Pierpaolo Di Bitonto, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And Good by morning. the way, sorry, sorry, just to tell you that in the end of also, we have the, the questions of the public in the end of your presentation. Okay, thank you very yes. much. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, as uh, you, you said before, uh, I'm uh, the supervisor of R&D activities in Grifo Multimedia. Uh, thank you for the invitation and I'm very glad to stay here. Um, just a moment, I share my presentation. Uh, just a moment. Okay. okay. Let's start. Okay. Um, in the next 10 minutes, I'll try to explain what gamification is and uh, the use of uh, gamification in healthcare. Uh, at the end of the presentation, I'll show you um, a, a very short uh, video uh, about uh, rehabilitation for people affected by uh, Parkinson's disease. Um, okay. And let's start with a, a very famous video. Uh, you should pay attention to the effects of the game. Uh, we are in a subway station. Uh, in the beginning, people tend to use uh, the escalator, as uh, you, say, you, you, see before, you, you saw before. It's very difficult to convince them to use normal stairs. But during the night, uh, something changes. The staircase is uh, uh, substituted, is transformed into a big piano. And what, and what happened? People change their behavior and prefer stairs to the escalators. What is changed? Well, um, probably the, the, the stair now are more engaging, more, more, more fun than the, the escalator. So uh, this is a brilliant uh, example of uh, uh, gamification of a, a game uh, applied to uh, a problem of everyday life uh, is, the, is the core of my presentation. So what is gamification? Gamification is the application of game design elements and game principle in a non-game context. Uh, some classic games elements are points, badge, leaderboard. Uh, points are used to uh, as a, a visual identifier of a progress, badge uh, as a visual identifier of achievements, leader, leaderboard as a visual identifier of um, competitive placement. Uh, we can use uh, uh, this, uh, this paradigm, gamification paradigm, also in healthcare in order to motivate a patient uh, to uh, and guide it, uh, guide them um, into the com therapy compliance. Uh, in particular, gamification is employed in medication adherence, fitness and wellness, physical and cognitive rehabilitation. The strategy is to reward users who, co who complete assigned tasks. A sample of uh, motivational levels are progress bar to measure success, showing progress. Uh, with other players, leaderboard and competition, stimulation by competition, points, and so on. Um, but uh, gamification is much more than point, bench, and leaderboard. It, it is a game designed to help people uh, enrich their goals. 
Um, now I show you a gamified approach in the context of Parkinson's disease. Let's start with the problem. Uh, Parkinson disease is a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement. Uh, symptoms start gradually, sometimes starting with a tremor in just one end. Over the time, Parkinson's disease may slow your movement, making simple tasks difficult and time consuming. Your step may become shorter when you walk, also speech changes. Um, even if Parkinson's disease can't be cured, medication and rehabilitation might significantly improve patient quality of life. Considering, considering the Parkinson's disease uh, effects, uh, uh, physical and uh, cognitive, um, um, uh, cognitive abilities. So rehabilitation routines have to consider this uh, characteristic uh, of, uh, of the disease. So rehabilitation activity is uh, not easy to do. It may cause frustration and pain. It should be executed correctly according to the medical prescription. Usually patients do not enjoy doing uh, the rehabilitation. If they are not well supported, uh, they left. Game approach can be used as a motivational lever to improve patient compliance. Excel games are specifically useful in physical rehabilitation because they are engaging and collect a lot of data about the movement. Excel game is a, a, a controlled environment where patient is stimulated and observed and it, this is a perfect combination to evaluate kinematic parameters and the effects of the therapy. A lot of clinical trials show how game dynamics, patient-centered design can support patients and therapists in rehabilitation, improving the treatment compliance. Dance uh, therapy uh, protocol uh, are validated in um, a lot of uh, clinical trials uh, during the last years. Dance involves physical and cognitive abilities. Uh, the engagement in the, is a, a social activity. Uh, it reduces a sense of frustration and isolation that sometimes affects patients. Uh, our Excel game uh, uses validated Irish dance rehabilitation protocol uh, based on uh, Irish music. Uh, the Irish music, more than other kinds of music, reduces the freezing of gait, enhancing the dance experience. The validity of uh, uh, Irish dance protocol for Parkinson rehabilitation is proven in a lot of clinical trials and is published in a lot of medical journals. Uh, first of all, uh, Lancet Neurology. Uh, this is the game loop uh, uh, in, uh, in a session, in a rehabilitation session. Uh, the game session at hospital can involve uh, up to four patients with a similar therapeutic goal about motor and cognitive abilities. Uh, in the setup phase, the therapist can set the number of initial parameters, such as track, uh, exercise duration, and most importantly, important, the therapeutic goals uh, on which to focus the session. Uh, the warm-up phase is a preparatory to the correct execution uh, of rehabilitation activity. During the rehabilitation session, each player has a key element on the screen, a visual representation of the step, uh, a sort of uh, virtual dance teacher that mimics the movement that the play will have to perform and a humanoid avatar that replicate each gesture made by the user in a real space. The virtual dance teacher shows to, uh, to the patient the step to perform. Uh, the patient has, has to repeat each movement, both in terms of uh, uh, correct uh, physical performance and timing of execution. During the task, the game provides scores and feedback related to the player performance and adapts the difficult of task according to the, to the player performance. Um, moreover, the, uh, the game can um, track uh, physio physiological and kinematic parameters and uh, game performance. Uh, game performance are connected uh, with the compliance to the dance choreography proposed by the game. Uh, kinematic parameters are uh, 
such as a gate, a gate analysis or uh, um, symmetry of um, of the torso, uh, cadence of the of the steps, and so on. Uh, the the, clin the the clinical parameters are uh, heart rate uh, uh, and uh, uh, other um, other physiological parameters. Uh, this is a, a very short video on how the, uh, the game uh, works. This is the patient that look uh, at the screen, the, the movement, and, and execute uh, the movement. While the, the patient play, the, the system analyze uh, every, uh, every step and reports uh, and final, uh, uh, at the end, uh, reports the, the clinical uh, results. Uh, in conclusion, uh, game-based approach is gaining credibility in, uh, in, uh, in the healthcare contest. Uh, pharma industry uh, is investing in game-based uh, digital therapeutics and uh, also European and American law are regulating the digital therapeutics production. Um, we, we think that uh, gamification is the future uh, uh, for the healthcare. Thank you very much.